you know, normal people time when they wake up. On the schedule out here, this is really bad. I only slept a couple hours, couldn't sleep anymore. Felt really congested. Um, I, must be, I must have a flu or something like that. <clears throat> um, and they got that headache and stuff like that. Couldn't sleep anymore, only slept a couple hours. It's nine o'clock, I didn't really eat anything yesterday either. I mean, I had a, one little meal, but just, it wasn't hungry. You know, I don't know, maybe it's because when you're under the weather, you're not, you're not, you're not as hungry. So I'm gonna go to the buffet, I'm gonna get me a, hot tea with lemon and honey. I know like vegans don't do honey. I don't give a shit because I do. I have no problem with honey, whatever, cool. Big, big, big jizz, I don't know what you call it. Morning, 9 a.m. So, <laughs> big jizz. <laughs> that made me laugh. I don't care if it made you laugh or not. I'm here to entertain myself, obviously. Um, so we're gonna check out what's in there. Maybe have a snack, a little snack of some kind, hot tea. Lemon and honey to coat the throat, and then um, try to get some sleep, man. Because we got a the 2 p.m. restart of the Omaha happens, but we're not. We're thinking about maybe showing up just to look at the cards, <laughs> but fold them anyway. Because there's no incentive really to double up. Because I'm gonna be playing the mixed game anyway. So otherwise, you know, you show up and try to run up a stack. But I think it's, I'm better off just folding now. The cheesy thing to do, which I think a lot of people would do in my shoes, is to just show up and then stall. Like look at my cards and just stall and burn time so that increases my chance of making the money. We're gonna make the money anyway. So we're gonna focus on the 3 p.m. Hopefully get some sleep. Where the hell's Alan? I got 9 a.m. Yeah, this is when he sleeps, 9 a.m. <laughs> People, today is our day. <clears throat> Got some sleep. Uh, PLO's already started. Got to, you know, I was just going over some hand reviews in my head and realized, like, I'm doing the best I can with a little bit of sickness and we're not going to make any excuses, but, you know, we got to play better. You know, we can play better. I got another gear available. Um, that, you know, it's just so many little small things. Um, luckily, I've been running pretty hot. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, the PLO started. 38 minutes ago, holy smokes. Okay, so we're gonna check and see how we're doing that. We're not gonna play any hands anyway. We're just gonna go sit down, look around, I guess, because it doesn't make any sense in a PLO because we're, we're not gonna be able to play it pretty much at all. So doubling up, it doesn't do us much. All we can do is like negative free roll ourselves if we lose a pot. So, and I never really do that. It's just like, you know, fold on the bubble to squeak in. But in this case, I'm about 45 juicy points. That's hefty because from here in the final table, point jumps are like 20, 30 points per position. So 45, that's a big number. So we're gonna go lock that up right now and then be fresh and ready. There will be no stream for this one. The reason being, unfortunately for y'all, is uh, they didn't have the uh, software for eight game. So, uh, so that, you know, you just have to get like snippets from a vlog. <laughs> All right, so we're officially in the terminal area, surveying the situation. I forgot to mention, Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Tiger, it's in there. So that's what we're gonna need today. We're gonna need a little Eye of the Tiger and focus in the eight game. There was something that um, Julia Martini did last night. Now, of course, I told you I wasn't gonna sleep thinking about it, where it just should have pointed me towards the call. I didn't do it. And it's because of a lack of focus and all those things. And we're not gonna make those mistakes today. That's the thing about mistakes, right? Mistakes are worthwhile if you actually learn something from them. If not, you just, you know, well, I don't know. There's a cool saying in there. I just don't remember it. <laughs> okay, so this is just this is some torture. I'm sitting here with my friend, right? No. On the button. What am I doing okay. here? What am I doing here on the That's button? folding. Yeah, I hit 
this, this hurts, it's painful to do. On the button, everybody folds. I have seven, eight, eight, nine double suited. This is a playable hand and pillow, yes? He's kind like, of, oh, kind of. yo, kind of, it's okay. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> yeah, we didn't play it. Um, so we got two more people to make the money. That's what we're gonna do. Sit like Kessler. Rolling down the street, talking about folding like Alan Kessler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Alan Kessler. You ready for today's segment? What are you most upset about today? That you weren't here on time, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> that I wasn't here on time? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you should be uh, here for the point. You wanted me to be here, like, grinding and just, rip, you know, playing every hand? Yeah. Should I? No, yeah, I'm not even going to ask you. We, you're not playing any hands. <laughs> Tyler, I got Tyler cracking up. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Tyler, where are you going? <laughs> From the official bubble, so what did I do? I figured, you know what, let's go for a coffee. I'm not gonna do the stall thing anyway. We'll have a coffee, enjoy, watch Alan Kessler fold a little bit over there. How much you wanna bet he makes the money? Okay? Like, the lock, lock of the century. Oh. You say Kale, right? Kale, correct. Kale, because some people call Kale, whatever's cool. Uh, so he was the one who was able to take down Hussein Ensan, who you know, hard to kill, but he was hard to kill. To do it. And then you had a tough matchup with Mr. Trickett. Yeah. Well, congratulations. That's your first, yeah? First, yeah. Well, I'll drink to that. Oh, cheers. Which one is me? Yeah, this here. Oh, I got it. <laughs> All right, we're seated next to World Series of Poker. Final table is two. I had a beef with in day one, because he was like, I don't like people that play slow. And he was taking, in some spots, almost a full second, and I was furious. Like, he had a hand where he could fold it easily in half a second, and it took probably 0.8 of a second, you know? It's like wasting time. It's very frustrating, but I've warned him that I'm gonna clock him from now on. If he gets to a second and a half, I'm insta-clocked other good news we are in the money in the plo um so that's going to be 45 45 or 50 points right there could come in very very handy down the stretch and here we just started on the final table what i didn't annie yeah mm, mm, you sure yeah i'm sure okay all right I'll sure. can't get nothing by these guys too smart i was waiting <laughs> massive study or better pot four way action I got five bets in. I got barbecued on the river. Game nine. I had a straight, eight high straight with a seven low draw. So that eight. Then six high straight. And then uh, he needed a nine. He had a nine to uh, make a higher straight. He did so. So uh, we lost some chips, but we're uh, still doing okay. A little frustrating, but hey. I, I was like, how do I lose the high? I can't lose the high. Uh, but I lost the high. <laughs> so the way this works is, in triple draw, one person sits out because we're seven-handed, which is going to give me enough time. If I fold this hand right here, which is official, we're going to go try to double over my PLO. Yeah, all right. So, here we go. Excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me. Let's see if we can get a hand in over here in the PLO on time. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go, let's go. Where am I at? All right, is that me, Alan? <laughs> I get to play next to Alan Kessler. I'm trying to Let's out, go, buddy. Out, out last year. What you got? Oh, he <laughs> tried out last year for what? There's no pay jump, is there? No, there's nothing. But, uh, right now, it's triple drop there, so I can, uh, you know, sit one hand. What do we got here? 45. I had a big decision. Like Ace Jack, Jack, Jack six, six, You folded out, well, well, Of course you did. Potted, repotted. Pod, repotted. This is going to take too long, I think. I'm not gonna risk it. Nope. Never mind. Just focus on the, uh, you know, playing for keeps over here in the final table. Never mind. I don't want to see. I don't want to get stuck in a hand over there and then miss one here. That would be like worst case scenario. So forget that. You busted? No way. You? You missed the four hundred dollar pay jump too. Here's the good news. Pizza. I think the pizza's coming. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. <laughs> okay, so this is going to work out. We're on break here. With about five million chips for 15 minutes. They're about to be done their break over here in two minutes in the PLO. Look at that. So 
We, we, there's 30 left. We really need to jump to 25th. I don't think we can do that by blinding up. Yeah, but we need to, we need to back four sack. people. Thanks. He's fucking... Yeah, that's, that's him. Ooh, I got um, so we, we need to get it in and double. If we double, then we have a legitimate chance at another point bubble pay jump, which is really, really important. So this is our stack. There looks like 23,000. The blinds are five and 10,000. So it gives us, uh, you know? Oh, that's weird. Because you You're take, weird. Yeah. You could take two full orbits and probably move up. You know up. people are falling in love with you on the internet. You're going to get a lot of dates out of this freaking, all these cameos. You not love this guy. Huh? Are you single now, Alan? Yeah. Yeah? They have to be skinny and age. But you got to do something with your bathtub. Because your bath, his bathtub is black. I took care of the, I took care of the car situation. Good boy. Good boy. He's got a nice car, clean car. shower every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call the 20. I'm just gonna call. I'm just gonna call. I got 3k left, just in case I miss the flop, you know. I got 4k left. All right. Let's see. In the PLO, played great this tournament. Open. Ah, win. Nut straight, nut flush, and top set. Okay. I have nut straight, nut flush, and top set. I don't even have it. No. I got sixes. <laughs> It's too bad I don't have a four or nine. I still, <laughs> you have fives? We have nothing. Flush draws. So I need a four. Four sixes are good. What am I thinking? Okay. Why don't I have a straight? High card. Yeah! <laughs> no, Baby doll. No double, double. <laughs>
I played the king. Otherwise, I would have folded. Smart man. We made an eight. We need to catch good. Oh, that was not good. That's it, huh? We're dead. Now we smashed the chips, break the table, made a full house. <laughs> In Raz. <laughs> All right, good luck, everybody. We out. Okay, we done. Frustrating. Uh, after we won that Raz hand, you know, all in, we had uh, deuce six eight, and there was a deuce and a six out. So we had a pretty strong three card hand, and we caught ten against a nine and a queen, and we caught a six. So we had to end up, uh, what do you call it, um, folding on five. And then the next hand, you know, I'm like pretty short. I have one and a half bets. Phil raises with a five. I have ace seven nine. Not a great hand, but far too good for me in this situation to fold. I wouldn't fold it pretty much. Even if I had chips, I was in the last position. And uh, I just didn't catch. What? Okay, I'm doing a freaking vlog. You didn't oh, see that? Sorry. Come on, let's go. Let's sorry. take the picture. <laughs> I mean, gee, your timing sucks. Thanks. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Didn't sorry. See. It's okay, no big deal. You didn't see? <laughs> yeah, I saw the phone. <laughs> you thought I was on the phone? Yeah. Ah, got it. No worries. Bonjour. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's a oh, ugly Shiza. picture. Shiza, yeah, Shiza picture. I gotta go. I'm doing a vlog. All right. So, I don't know. He thought I was on the phone, so he wanted to. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little steeped up after I bust out, as you can tell. So now the plan. Uh, good. So we gotta look at the bright side, right? We we picked up 445 points today with the double caches, and there's 100k to play. We're not ready to go do that. We're gonna relax in the room for a little bit, unwind, get reset. Pretty frustrating hands I lost in this uh, final table. So what you get goes sometimes when you play limit poker, man. It just goes key hands, you lose about four or five of them, and pfft, that's that. So break time for us. We'll be right back to the scheduled programming. Okay, so we just ordered room service, you know, stewing a little bit about, you know, my bad luck and uh, perfect timing. Just received an email that I wanted to share, okay? This guy was trying to reach me, so he sent it to our people that got to me, and I just wanted to know that I got it. It says, my name, my name, <clears throat> my name is Steve Rowris, and I'm writing from Florida this evening where I'm being treated for terminal cancer. I built a house in Henderson and lived in the Las Vegas Valley for 24 years until coming to Florida for treatment. <clears throat> the purpose of this email is to say thank you and express my appreciation for Daniel. For the past year, he has given me a reason to get up every day and to keep pushing forward and to not give up my fight. My time is ending soon, however, and I do not want to pass away without trying to reach out to Daniel to tell him that he's made a difference to me for me. His upbeat attitude is contagious, and his refusal to give up or quit on anything has inspired me to try to emulate his path through life. I could go on and on about how Daniel has helped me, but what I really appreciate is someone forwarding this note to Daniel. I'm not asking for a callback. Or his return email, I'm not asking for anything. Just that someone gets this note to Daniel. He needs to know that if he ever called before a higher power and has asked what contributions he made, at least he can say to the higher power that he made one person's life worth more living. And that has, that's room service, has to count for something. One second. Okay. Daniel, thanks for being such a great help to me. Best of luck in your life. I hope it is a long and happy one. I hope you and your lovely new wife and hopefully children continue to touch people in a positive fashion and that you continue to bring sunshine and happiness to those around you. You've done so for me. Thanks, man. Just want you to know I read it and you are going to get a call. Yeah, a little perspective, right? I'm upset about losing in a stupid poker tournament and this guy right here, he's dealing with real life stuff. Real life stuff and he's handing it like a champ from what I can tell by that email. So, uh, yeah, I mean, perfect timing to read something like that because, you know, you can get lost sometimes in like the stupid little things that are not that important in the bigger picture, you know? Player of the year is something I want to win, and, you know, we're in good shape. Bracelets is something I want to win, but, uh, you know, it's just a game, right? So, bon appetit. Only cow, only cow. It's 11 p.m. My dad used to say that. He, he didn't. He could say holy cow. He said only cow, only cow. Look at that. Look at that guy. <laughs> so, oh my God, it's 11 p.m. This was our plan, actually, when we came up here. Sleep 
and enter for level 7, which is about 11.15. Um, I think they're only going to be playing 8 levels tonight, which is great. Um, I think it was 10 on schedule. I think they changed it to 8 because probably a shorter field. I don't know. That's what they've been doing with a lot of 25Ks. So we're on basically on this schedule now, you know, where we play a tournament, bust, or whatever. Sleep a few hours, late reg, boom, 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 you know, rinse, repeat, groundhog day. I got a bunch of cuts in my mouth now because I've been doing lemon. And now, like, the lemon acid just burned through all my mouth. So eating food is painful. Like, where you eat and you're like, ah, you feel the acid burns. Ah, yeah. Oh, I should get some canker shit. I think I have some. Canker shit. That'll work. You know, little canker shit. All right, let's go play. Need to go. End of break. That's our chip stack, starting stack. This guy keeps everywhere I go. He's got a freaking phone in my. I'm your fan. I follow you. Yeah. If you jump into hundred. Oh pets, my god! My and favorite and Scatina. This oh guy. yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Favorite yeah. I got Alex Fox, and he gives you this face where he stares in your eyes, like he wants to fight you. It's one of the two, no, and I'm no. guessing it's fight, you know, right? No. I, I offered. I know. <laughs> you know, but you have that face when you look at someone. You're like, is this? Are you like into me, or are you just uh, trying to hurt me right now? He's and your face, and you yeah. Just see and that's him. Oli Shemion, blast from the past, one of the young, up and coming Germans who's not old, right? Because he's a father. What are you like, 40, 30? You look about 38. 38. Yeah. Almost, uh, and then orphan, Russian things. You know, hey, el matador. Está aquí. Hey, muy bien. Gracias. And then we have the guy, Phil Helm, who said, am I supposed to know who this guy is? Should I know who this guy is? He won the uh, the 25K. What happened? You had a lot of chips, man. Like, uh, well, they're still doing okay. You you're, you're, those chips are in action. I know how it goes. All right, having fun here in the 100K. Good group of guys. Okay, while they play a big pot, I'll tell you. So I forgot to mention, yesterday's vlog, we said we're going to tell you, what did I have along with that five of hearts on that board? And a lot of you guessed it correct. Some of you had some, you know, creative guesses. Now, a lot of your guesses would have made sense. Like, what if I, you know, filled the figure ant was weak, the guy has an ace, but doesn't have a full house, and I can raise him here, he peels, and then I fire the river and, you know, win the pot. Um, ace five doesn't make a lot of sense. That wouldn't be the hand that I have there. I would maybe make a crying call and try to snap. The hand I had was the deuce five of hearts. We defended our blind and turned it straight. Our intention was to raise there, and then if it does get re-raised on us, we were folding. There's just no way they're doing that without a full house. All right, so today we just played a hand against Cal Burns right off the bat, where I limped under the, I limped uh, in the one, 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 or one under the gun plus one with, uh, I'll tell you in a sec, maybe we'll do another one. Cal raises to 100, lines are 1530, folds back to me, I call. Limping is back in vogue, by the way. All the GTO kids figured out some stuff that I knew years ago, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's back, it's back in vogue, occasionally, if you know what you're doing and you can have some relative balance. Flop is jack 10-4 with two spades, I check, he bets 180,000. Yours truly makes it 510, starting with 2 million. He calls, turn is a queen of hearts. I bet it all, 1.2 million. He folds, he asks for a count and he folds. And I show him the five of spades. My other card is too obvious here to, to bother, but the ace of spades. All right, let's play some poker. In other news, just gave credit to Phil Hummuth on Twitter because I feel like his mystery game is actually a lot better. He's just gotten a lot tighter in certain spots and far less spewy. So uh, it was good to see, you know, he was really giving it his all. Having said that, remember we had a bet, side bet, $2,000? Well, Phil Helmuth, our bet was whether Mike Mattiso, your Omaha guru, would have said you played the hand correctly. And right here is the text evidence where he says, yes, I three bet pre. In other words, you didn't, you just flatted. So Mr. Helmuth, $2,000 is owed my way. <laughs> I'm trying to bet this guy that he won't win the tournament, and he's so chicken. I tried to bet him a 500, 1,000, he won't bet. He has no confidence in himself right now. It's up in my day. Oh, is this your fifth bullet? These people are crazy, it's 100,000 euro. Three bullets like it's nothing. Crazy. So anyway, yeah, tell me. 2,000 coming my way. And Alan Kester posted a chess uh, question. And it's a tough one, I guess. So everyone at the table now, they're using, that's my phone over there. They're both trying to figure out the, the move here. I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna put it on screen um, for you guys and see if you can figure it out. Um, we had some ideas, but then this one guy who's a chess genius on Twitter said like, oh my God, this is really hard. I'll be surprised if you figure it out. And we're like, huh, it's really hard. Paging Dan Smith. Paging Dan Smith, yeah. All right, we're gonna post it. We're gonna post a picture of it right here. I think I can play as well, right? Yeah. 
All right, I have no idea. So we're playing a little chess, playing a little poker. We got 20 minutes left in the night. Yours truly sitting on good chips. Thanks to my friend Who here. make the first answer? That yes. is correct. Receive this shot from Daniel Negrano. Hey! <laughs> Look at that. He's a promoter. Look at that. Yeah, he's good at that stuff. We're about to get bags over here. There's the stack. We've got 3,885,000. Um, what a nice pot against Anatoly. And then I knitted it up from there. <laughs> he tried to bluff me. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you about the hand. It's kind of interesting. So, Dom, who is uh, GTO. Let's do a breakdown. What the hell? Let's finish with a breakdown. This is the end of night, right? Boom. Hand breakdown. Okay. So, Dom limps for 40K in the cutoff. Okay. 20, 40,000 blinds. 40 any. My friend here, Anatoly, limps in the small. We have Ace King. Ace of Diamonds, King of Spades, and make it 300,000, hefty. I'm prepared to go all in with Dominic, who has about 1.5, 1.6. Never have a strong hand enough, a hand strong enough. I know his limping range is balanced because he's a GTO guy. And as I told you before, limping is back, yo. So uh, he folds, but now to my surprise, Anatoly calls. Really didn't expect that very often. Now the flop is Queen 10, seven, two spades, one heart. He checks, I bet 250,000. He calls, so get some issues. Turns a nine of spades, he checks, all right. So now we need a jack, a spade, or some stuff, hopefully, as long as he doesn't have like ace three of spades or something like that, which is possible. But I decided to check it back, take the free card, okay? Now the river is the jack, so we make the straight. And I was thinking, okay, if he checks, I'm gonna bet 600K, but what do I do if, but what do I do if he check raises me, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I didn't have to worry about that because he led 600K, so we have an easy call. Not a lot of reason to raise here, I don't think. And um, he had the ace six of hearts. So, you know, he was welcome trying to Daniel, do. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> How do you say Merry Christmas in Russian? Merry Christmas. How do you say it in Russian? <laughs> Sarash Dispom. Sarash Dispom. All right. And on that note, bags are here. Yeah, buddy. See y'all. <laughs>